Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Happy thanks <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. If you're watching on the day that I'm recording this, it's Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, November twenty eighth, twenty nineteen. Happy Thanksgiving. I wasn't gonna post a video, by the way, we're gonna do a pocket dump deconstruction, but I know that there are a lot of you, like me, um, where this time isn't the best time. It never has been for me, but it was a lot better when I had my family and my kids. Um, so, of course, we all wished each other Thanksgiving. They're grown. They're all over the country and stuff. Um, and I really feel homesick and missing them. So the holidays is a tough time for me. So I wanted to get on the video to make sure that I at least delivered my pocket dump de deconstruction for you guys. So at least you'd have 10 minutes uh, to watch some stuff. And also to tell you, uh, I know a lot of you are with your family. It's a great day, traveling, doing whatever. So please have a good time. For those of you that sometimes it's a little tough, just want you to know that uh, Kevin understood it, understands it. And I'm wishing you guys the best too. All right. I hope all that made sense. So the pocket dump deconstruction, you know, someone gave me a comment what was so sweet of them. They said, you know, manscaping your nails is not a bad thing. <laughs> they were so sweet when they gave me the comment. It's true. I have been in my apartment for the past three or four days. So usually when I clean up, I clip them myself. So they're gross. But, uh, I just wanted to tell you, someone gave me that comment. I didn't take it as bad. They were trying to be as sweet as possible. In other words, hey, guy, your fingernails suck, and they were so right. Anyway, let's talk about this pocket dump deconstruction. It's a real light carry today. Uh, I don't know where you live. I live on the east coast of the U.S., and it's uh, cold outside, you know, chilly winter weather. Um, I'm, I'm going to carry my, uh, Mont Blanc chronograph. People ask me what kind of watch it is. It is a Mont Blanc chronograph. I picked it up in Atlanta 20 something years ago when I was consulting at one of these Mont Blanc in an upscale mall, the Mont Blanc small little stores. And, uh, every time I got a new client, I'd get a new watch. And I love chronographs. Love them. And so I really wanted that Mont Blanc chronograph. Hold on a second. Oh, my goodness gracious. I've told you guys about my Pravada Cigar Club that I've been in for a year and two months. You know how I know that? I just stopped the subscription because I have 12, 14 boxes sitting here <laughs> with at least three cigars aged and special cigars. I am going to do that video at some point here while I keep <laughs> smoking my Cuban cigars. I just love them. I really do. Um, this is Hoyo de Mono Ray, uh, Epicure Deluxe, just a real nice smoke. <sighs> I was lucky. Well, first, let's talk about this, my Mont Blanc. Whoops, sorry, I keep hitting the camera. This is my Mont Blanc skinny wallet. Today, some of that blue scotch. Even when I'm not out and about for a long time, I fill up my flask. You know, I'm 60. I turned 60 this summer. And I'll tell you, I know that I have some bad habits. And so, <laughs> you know, the man with bad habits that knows how to trick himself to be better. Um, because I will, especially on a day like today, open up that blue bottle and just sit and drink it all. I might still do that. But I always start with my flask first. And then I pause before moving forward. I'm a grown man. I can go and pour another glass, but I always start with the flask first. 
This I was lucky to get. You know, I'm a huge fan of Serge Pachenko. I have, what, four of his claw coins. This is one of his mid-tech pins. And uh, he does it fair. He says, hey, they're on my website. And the first people who get to the website get them. Most of the time they're sold out. Um, but I was lucky enough to find his pins on there. This really, you can see, let's see if we can get, there you go. That's the Serge Bachenko brand. It really fades into the clip. When I take pictures of it on Instagram, people don't know it's a Pachenko unless they know it's a Pachenko. I really love it. He He's very good at that antiquing feel of it. I really don't even know all of the things about what it's made of and all of that. Can you believe it? <laughs> I just know I love it. I love how it looks. I love the weight of it. I believe it's brass, but I don't know. Next time I do a pocket dump deconstruction, I'll have more information for you. But I wanted that today. And uh, usually when I know I'm going to do a video, I want to make sure I'll, I'll have this because I want to carry it. And then I get ready and I go, oh, shoot, I can't do this because I'm going to sound like an idiot on the video because I don't know anything. Well, I don't mind sounding like an idiot today. I'm carrying that. And this is the first time I actually put that on video. So I wanted to talk to you about that as well. I love that pen. I'm, my notepad is a notepad from Smithson. I love those guys. So upscale papers and stuff. That's a blank notepad with leather. It's a British com company. Is it Smithing's 10? Let's see. Smithson of Bond Street. Really love these guys. I checked them out when I consulted the first time. When I decided to consult a second time just a couple of months ago, I went and got some more of their stuff um, just to get me excited about being independent again. Of course, the first time I was independent, I was 30-something. Now I'm 60. It's kind of hard to get that excited about anything except the fact that I keep breathing every day. <laughs> That's excitement. The coin today is from the U.S. Mint. And this is the coin, 100 years of service for the American Legion. 2019 coin. Just a real nice silver coin. I have a silver one and uh, a proof and a non-proof one ounce coin. Someone gave me a great note. I was talking about why I carry a one ounce silver coin all the time that my grandfather always carried a uh, a one dollar silver coin you know a US one dollar that's when coins were silver and he he said his used to too and he said remember though those older men they had gone through the depression and they put it in their pocket so they'd at least have a dollar left and that is so true they knew they wouldn't be broke. Mine actually every now and then said, now you got it. If you save it, you wouldn't be broke. <laughs> and then he'd go home and we'd go down to the corner store and live it up. A dollar could buy a lot of penny candy back then. Mary Jane's and the little peppermint balls. I don't know you guys. Nowadays, I know that the store owner probably got packages of those pretzels, those thick stick pretzels and broke them up and sold them for like two cents or five cents. <laughs> ah, those were the days, right? Those were the days. You know, now you can go on Amazon and get something like that for a billion dollars. Wait, I'm talking. I didn't even talk about the coin. Here's the, uh, here's Serge Pachenko's claw coin. I have four of them. Two of them are the customs from Serge, and then two of them are from his uh, production line. This is one of his production lines. You can tell the difference 
because that's Serge, see Serge Pachenko, that's his brand, you can see it on the pin, when it's just that SP, but when you get something from him, and he's not trying to hide it, and they're a lot less expensive, right, like, you see the P within the P, that means it's from his production brand, but this is nice, titanium, this is the Gen 2 of the claw coin, you can tell because of the flat edge right here. Um, I was I grabbed two of them as soon as I saw them on Blade HQ. They didn't last very long on Blade HQ. This had titanium. Uh, titanium. It's titanium. This, of course, with carbon fiber, and I love all the blue accents on it. I just wanted a simple carry that I throw in my pocket as I went all around today, and it wouldn't show too much these two knives i'm gonna tell you these are two very good spidical knives and they were lost they're not lost but i have five big pelican cases uh, four 1550s and one 1600 and they're packed in there and these are so small and nice and i forgot about them pathetic isn't it so they are perfect as a quick carry and a light carry. This is the Spydeco Rhino. Now, the Spydeco Rhino was announced, and this is one of those knives that was announced, and it took like two years to actually come out from Spydeco. And the reason is it was going to be a real inexpensive knife. I remember when they talked about it, the blade steel was going to be the same steel. I don't know if it was VG10 or less steel. I remember people on the forums were talking about getting five of them, buying five of them because they were going to be so inexpensive, right? Just a little knife with this wonderful blade that looks like a rhino. <laughs> and Spyderco tried it and they didn't like what they saw, so they upgraded everything. They literally upgraded everything and released a different knife. It's still a wonderful small knife, has a great blade, but the steel upgraded to CTS XHP steel, which is wonderful. That blade is 2.3 inches. The tire length is just 5.9 inches. It only weighs 2.5 ounces. And instead of black G10, they put carbon fiber over G10. Feels great. Oh man, this is a nice knife. And compression lock. They just kept putting, adding things to it. And it is a small, nice little EDC knife. Really light. I mean, the coin is 0.8 ounces. This is 2.5 ounces. And then the other knife I'm going to carry, I'm going to carry all three. Of course, the coin is my keychain knife. The other one is just 2.1 ounces. So all together, it's like five ounces in your pocket with three knives. But, oh, what a real nice knife. Right hand, left hand, tip up only. The compression lock. It's a really nice knife. The Rhino. If you haven't gotten a Rhino, you should pick it up if you can find it. And then, I can't pronounce this, <laughs> okay? I've had it for a while. Um, I didn't, I didn't, I think I've done two, maybe two, maybe one sales. And I refused to put this in a sale when I was trimming my collection. Because I just liked it. And then again, it's so small, it was hidden in my case. And I found this first and then i thought about the rhino after finding it oh i love this little knife i like little knives um i spent a lot of time in an office and that's one reason i like them um it's a spydeco i don't know how to ikuchi i-k-u-c-h-i i-k-u-c-h-i i get a lot of I don't get a lot. Some people talk about how it's pronounced, but you know, when you're used to just seeing it in print, announcing stuff is pretty tough.
tough sometimes. So let's talk about it. it is super thin, as you can tell. Real nice, full flat ground blade. It has S30V steel from Crucible. Great steel, 3.3 ounce, 3.3, 3.3 inch blade. So it's a decent sized blade. Look how thin it is. S30V. The total length is 7.6 inches but it only weighs 2.1 ounces that's with full liners heavily skeletonized liners carbon fiber and again a compression lock so two compression lock carbon fiber knives that are super lightweight but the big thing about this is is really the wheel opener you know it's like a lighter, like a lighter wheel. See that? That's how you flip it open. Just like you're lighting a lighter. I've seen some people flip it like this. Man, I have trouble with that. You know, the big thing now is a lot of the forward flipping knives, but this is so nice and easy with the jimping on the wheel. This is a nice knife. Why is that hole there? An indexing thing so when you're pulling it out but really it is kind of strange to see it there <laughs> but it's a nice indexing hole of course it has the wire clip as well the deep carry clip right hand left hand tip up only man this is a great carry i really like this combination and i'm really happy that i've got a chance to do a video for you guys today Wishing you the best of holidays. And for all of you that might have some issues with holidays, and there's a lot of people, wishing you the best of life. Hey, I miss all of you guys. Wanted to talk to you. Hope you're all doing well. You take care of yourselves, okay? Keep those pockets full. Goodbye now.